Hey, you want to get Troy in here? Because Troy has questions. Uh, does he have any? Has he has he commented um, on uh, on no. this? Has he done research on this now? Well, I don't know. We told him. Well, this is the story I, is I a Troy... week old about almost. Uh, what, 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 he should have done a little research, right? Well, I think Troy gets mad at us because oh, he has questions he and we don't take him seriously. He's sauntering and, in. And all we say is, do your research. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Hi, Troy. How are you, sir? Hi, Troy. What's going on? Dropped your water today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Troy put his water down right by uh, his headphones and he just knocked it over and it made hey, me laugh. Some, some <laughs> happened here. <laughs> yeah. Carlos. 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 Give him a drink. Some happened here. Where's your wife? You think I bring her around like you conspiracy nuts get involved with her? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that last night. I, <laughs> I just am laughing my balls off a raging bull. Let you bums get involved with her? In a cage. After rage, it's the fucking uh, greatest. Arid. <laughs> Troy looks defeated already. You uh, can't no, be defeated. No, you got to hang in there because you have questions. No, you're no. representing a part of this audience that listens yes, to this show. There's other people part. out there that have a, have questions. Dude, I'm jumping off, man. I'm just whatever the mainstream media is is telling me. That's that's what I'm going to believe from here on out. Had a boy. What are you doing to yourself? No, he sounds no, like, it's, sarcastic. You got questions, and no, there's another I mean, 500 blackbirds dead in Louisiana. Dude, it's so much easier to sleep at night if you just believe what you're told. You know? Ah, ignorance we is are not bliss. saying exactly. you should believe what you're told. But ignorance all we're all we're saying to you, if you have all these questions, you got to do a little more research. Well, it, it's just when you question anything and you believe anything other than what you're being told, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah, man. So it's just like, why? Just go with the flow. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. when, when when they're telling you to. To get in the cattle car because you're being shipped off. Oh, just, oh shit. just just get in and go. You know what I mean? Because exactly. whatever they tell you, whatever they tell you is the truth. It's a conspiracy, spiracy, spiracy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so just get in the cattle car. No, that's no conspiracy. That's else? just that's go with the flow. That's, that's just what do, you're saying. That's do whatever you're told. It's better to, better to do that than question things. Yeah, of course. It's just a lot easier. We and need people like you though, Troy, to question things. Ah, why? Why, oh, why do it? Sorry about you guys on on uh, on uh, uh, yeah, it's Joe, MSNBC. The next, saying the next Susan Boyle. <laughs> no. Wow. Why is this? Because, no. you know, ugly people are not supposed to be talented, That's remember? Yeah. Jimmy made that point perfectly clear yeah. on this show. It's true. If you're ugly... My parents made it to me when I was small. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ugly, society has already decided that you have no fucking value. You're valueless. Value. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> fucking assholes. Wait, like, it, the funny thing is, nobody cares that this guy shits his pants. <laughs> oh, my God! Right. He could sell Tide! <laughs> right. He sounds like a radio guy! It's amazing. If you're an ugly fucking pig, society has decided... You have no worth. <laughs> You're worthless. Zero value. Fucking mainstream media sucks it. Let people step over you. Like, yeah. I'm happy for this guy. But the I'm... funny thing is we're interested in him because he sounds like a good radio guy. Right. We're just a <laughs> silly country. And you know all these stories never end happily. There's no. going to be some horrible thing in his past that they have to awkwardly bring up yeah. in another day or two. He molested a child and <laughs> threw him into a meat grinder. <laughs> right. They've been looking for him for five years. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to bet that this ends horribly? Or he's got some, some kind baggage. Of, oh, fuck yeah. He's got some skeletons. I'm, I'm going on record right now. None of these stories ever ha end up happily. They always have to dig, dig, dig until they fucking kill you. And that's what they'll do with this they'll homeless Ted Williams they'll guy. They'll prop him up on a little pedestal for a while. Right. And be like, you know, he'll do the talk show circuit and be on Fox and Friends. He'll end up on Letterman by, and, yeah. by tomorrow. And then uh, they'll dig something up like, uh, he has an arrest record for touching children. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> sure. And that's probably why he doesn't have a job in radio. Uh, but back to Troy Kwan, because he yes. has questions. Yeah, have you heard any more about the why birds? Are you, why are you giving up? Because a few fans are beating you up? No, no, it's fine. I mean, it's just, like I said, it's just a lot easier to, to go with the flow. He's not giving up. Don't give up. He's not giving up. But it's so much easier, though. You we, know what I mean? We're he's pushing not capable you. of giving up. He could say he's going to give up. We like that you have questions, but we don't like that you have no substance behind the fact you have questions. The, here's the honest to God truth. With conspiracy theories, you can, I can only take so much of it, mm -hmm. because then I... Mm -hmm. um, it just it becomes too much because there's so many people that devote their lives to this mm -hmm. and you, you you just become so so involved with it and you just i can't do it i can't, honestly i can't do it in order to to wake up in the morning and be excited about life and excited about what i have going on 
Yeah. I just, I can't do it. But what is a conspiracy theory? It's a conspiracy. Spiracy. Spiracy. Like. <laughs> no echo. No I echo. Love that. Jesus, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Danny just repeated himself. <laughs> That's the no, It's more fun that way. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> um, what's, I have a question for Troy. <laughs> love that. What's, what's a conspiracy, sorry, a conspiracy theory that even you find ridiculous? Like, is there one that you even look at and go, who the fuck believes that shit? Uh, as far as like drinking water and and poisoning us through drinking water, I mean, like that the fluoride. Is, see that one, I believe. Or we for a we. No, which what are we talking? About? Yeah, okay. I, as far as fluoride and what they're they're putting in your drinking water. Um, I mean, but but then again, man, I I don't know. I don't do tests on it. You know, you just you. There are people that say that the drinking water is fine, and there are people that say, look, this is what's in it. This is what this is doing. To so you. hang on, you're buying into the drinking water thing too, then? No, I'm just saying it's it's hard to believe that. He's got questions. I like Troy. He's a lazy conspiracy theorist. He really like, is. he doesn't yeah, read but, but, anything. But, I, yeah, but that's what they all are. But that's, that is a conspiracy but see, theorist. But I'm not in here uh, claiming to be a conspiracy but that's theorist. that's why we want you to be better than the average conspiracy guy. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not claiming to do like that. You. I've told we you that I've, I've watched... That have questions. I've watched some of Alex Jones' movies. And I, and they're they're cool. I mean, they're they're fascinating. Did you hear him on our show yesterday? I watched some of Steven Spielberg's movies. They're fascinating too. <laughs> okay, and that's fine. <laughs> and when he does a documentary, counters. you could go, oh, you know what? That's that's yeah, a good a point. Yeah, but a documentary is is still biased. A documentary is just yeah. presenting the facts the way that the documentary maker wants you to see those facts. Fahrenheit right. nine one one was biased. Even so you could say that about anything. I love King yeah. of Kong. I'm not gonna. It's it's extremely skewed, one sided. I mean, that's obvious. But you know what? It's entertaining. Right. A documentary is still entertainment. Well, when I'm you not. I'm not in here trying to sell you on what he's saying. I'm just saying I find. This interesting. Yeah, but don't don't tell me All to right. watch an Alex Jones documentary. Did well, I tell you that? You, you didn't watch this yet. When did, I tell, this, did I tell you to watch it? Blown away. But when no, did I tell you to watch it? You're bringing it up. You saying, "Well, you got to see this." I said, Alex "I found Jones it." Did Why I, are you when so, did I so confrontational? That? Why are oh, you? Yeah. I'm just asking a question. Yeah, and I'm answering it. Mm. This is a fight now. What oh, is this? It's I just tried to be like. I just I wanted to have a, a yeah. back and forth. And we are. Yeah. I don't know. You're being very aggressive. Am now. I? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, am I? You sure? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Yeah. That was that was. Am I? Well, am I'm just. I? I'm asking because I I didn't tell you to watch shit. But you brought up his documentary. I said I found. I said I found oh. it interesting. All right. But I'm saying that not just because it's a documentary doesn't make it fact. Did I say that? Oh. You were implying. Did I said it was. I found it fascinating. You implied it. When did I say? How do you imply when I say I found it fa fascinating? Because you brought it up. Awkward. It's not awkward. It's not awkward. Not at all. They're asking me to come in and talk about it. Yeah. Am I running in here to talk about how great oh, Alex Jones is? Ooh. Dude, why, why are you being like this now? We're just well, talking about this. I, I'm just talking. <laughs> wow. I don't, think, I don't think Troy likes the drop. Maybe Ooh. we should. I love the drop. Play it again. Oh, shit. It's a conspiracy. Spiracy. Spiracy. By the way, Troy, if uh, Travis comes in here, are you wearing a cup? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Just I'm ready. Make, just making sure. Yeah, I want to thank <laughs> he, he, Travis for that. <laughs> Here's a problem with conspiracy. Jesse Ventura is not lazy. Like he's not a lazy conspiracy yes, guy, and neither is Alex Jones. <laughs> but those guys are agenda obsessed. Like they're obsessed with the conspiracy, be a conspiracy, otherwise their identities cease. I'm running out of conspiracies. And Alex Jones is lazy. He's useless until noon every day. Well, <laughs> you yeah, that was on funny. the show yesterday. Oh. That was hysterical. He didn't that. even know he was on the radio. Yeah. And then hung up and said, "I need five minutes," and never called us back. By yeah, the way, but just imagine how it's... intense that guy's life. Is. I mean, to constantly be eat, sleeping and breathing let me, conspiracy theories. I don't think he believes let, that. Let me, let me, yeah, let me tell you uh, what I think about Alex Jones. Aunt basically said it. I think he believes only half of the shit he says on his show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. without the passion but, you know, uh, that he I, puts I, across on like the air. Like Bell. He, he, yeah. He believes a bunch yeah. of it, sure, but then he uh, he knows what his audience wants, and he goes all in. I Je would Jesse's love, if you got him at a bar and said, look, between me and you, he would say, yeah, half that shit I don't really believe. I would, Jesse. I would love it's to see somebody take something that he said yeah. and prove him wrong. I really you, would. No, I would like to see him prove what he right. says right. Yeah. Exactly. It's all exactly. speculation based on some some theory. That's why it's theories. When, when the other side presents facts, the conspiracy side presents theories, and people pick up on it because they always say that the government or this overseeing body entity is the one that's blocking the information from really getting out there. So they got to dig and dig. But they never come up with any, any solid evidence. 9-11 is the prime example. That is the prime example of conspiracy people gone nuts because there's absolute evidence of everything that they say is a conspiracy, yet... They uh, refute it all with just speculation. And true, and in true conspiracy theorist fashion, the minute they are presented with facts or logic or physics, they don't hear it. 
they just get angry and start yelling. And they change the subject and go some. They yeah. try to make it like they're going deeper behind what you said. Meanwhile, they just shoved off what you. And said. it's funny because what I, I saw a documentary about like why conspiracy theorists feel so like to feel the need to get you on their side also yeah and it all boils down to like they they need this passion in their life for something yeah for anything. and so they go and they attach themselves to these situations yeah. because they could they feel something for it even though it's not genuine they could they could suck onto that feeling for a little bit and make them feel full of, of that part of yeah that, that part that's that movement that's important yeah. they're it's, married to the idea yeah. of the conspiracy being a conspiracy they're not looking to find the facts no no the conspiracy yes. exactly. Is, and, I, and I know that because when we had 9-11 people on, I remember the Pentagon. I had certain questions about it. I'm like, yeah, they actually raised some good points. But then I took it a step further, and I talked to people, and I read stuff. And, I, and I, after like weighing everything, I just believed it actually yeah. did hit the Pentagon. And after inter those, the conspiracy theorists themselves, by their babyish way of arguing, and they're ignoring certain facts, yeah. they convinced me. That the fucking, it exactly was the way the government said it was. And what we all knew it was. It was a plan to hit the Pentagon. Because when certain facts were presented, they were like, Arr, Arr. like I didn't want to go. Arr, Arr. Why didn't they find any At parts all. of an airplane? But that, they did. And they did. They, they did. They, they but, absolutely but, but did. But where is it documented, though? Where, where are the pictures? Everywhere. Everywhere. Go ahead. Bring a photo. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> spiracy, spiracy. And don't show me uh, the piece of aluminum siding to a plane sitting in the yard as, as no, concrete I'll you, evidence. I'll show you uh, the damage. Like I could show you a computer animation of exactly the damage that occurred, and then side-by-side -side shots about, yeah. of the actual real okay. damage that How happened. How about a landing gear? You know, How about parts How about of the engines? fuselage? And what's wrong with parts of the fuselage being uh, spread out? Uh, 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 over the site and and, and parts of the uh, uh, landing gear that match up exactly and you know the, there are the there plane. are things that are fascinating with the um, the twin towers suppose no, oh, sorry. oh sorry uh, supposedly you know they found one of the hijackers passport passport no, yeah. so how how is a passport which is paper in go through an explosion there's an explosion the plane crashes in and somehow, and the passport's probably in the guy's bag. How does a passport go through the bag, through the plane, through the explosion, and end out on it the got street? Blown it's a conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. It got it, blown it, out. And Troy, that's such a the, the thing is that's such an odd thing to find that they. There's such an easier way to plant evidence. Yeah, yeah. Than we found a passport that blew out of a plane. Like, that is such a... Somebody obviously found it. It was one of those things that just... When the explosion... I have paper from the Trade Center. I actually have something from the 104th yeah, yeah, floor yeah. in my apartment it that... Blew, uh, uh, it blew Paper out. blew out of the thing, and it happens. It's okay. an odd thing to and, happen. And that's fine. Happen. But for me, personally, I find it hard to believe. You find that hard to believe, even though there's other evidence that Mohammed Atta was on that fucking plane. Like, there's not video of him there's and one of Bin Laden's... plenty of evidence. You don't just have to take... If you just had to take the passport and say, Hey, look... Uh, wow, Mr. Passion over here. Oh, me? Why are you so pa why are you so passionate I just, about? Because you say you say things that make me insane. Well, yeah, like, then you just go. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just said you just said it was hard to believe. <laughs> Troy, 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 you believe you believe that fucking the, that the government is putting aluminum chips in the sky, <laughs> but, but but a fucking passport on the floor is hard to believe. That's ridiculous uh, to me. Well. And we don't know. Why is the, one thing more ridiculous than the other? The passport was in a bag. Don't, don't touch me. Yeah, I don't yeah. want you to touch oh me. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't want you to touch me? I don't, I don't want you. Who the fuck did you be touching me? I'm trying to talk to you. Really? You don't have to touch me. You can talk to me and not talk Why to, and touch me. Why is he doing this? Because what, what's your problem? I'm not. I'm trying, to have, every fun time, I'm every trying time. to have fun talking about conspiracy theories. Is it fun? It's fun. Yes, then, it is, is this fun? fun? Really? When you go, when I say something, you go. Because you said it was, because you said it was hard to believe. Meanwhile, everything that you that you defend is incredibly hard to believe. I think that's a solid point. Okay. Well, they've done research to find aluminum in rainwater. Okay, and they did research that uh, that they found Atta's passport. I, th I don't think one thing is more ridiculous than the other. I think that's the only point I'm trying to make. I think okay. they're equally ridiculous. Well, I got your point. It is kind of odd, though, that, that, that you would, it would... This is the point. It's hard to believe that they Atta's passport... It is a hard thing. To, that is kind of an odd thing that, to have happen. They find a passport. Yeah. But yet conspiracy theorists buy into the fact that... 210 story buildings were wired with explosives. Right. Now, what's more ridiculous? Like that's, that, 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 the thing is, it is the way the facts are looked at. It, it's agenda driven. That's what uh, yeah. I find difficult. Yes, they, they try to make their own 
story makes sense instead of looking for the facts. Right. That's what huh? I see a lot. And you hear the, the bullshit repeated, like with Kennedy, like, oh, Oswald was the good shot. You hear that repeated by everyone. It's like they actually watch Oliver Stone's movie and then just repeat and what they think heard. And think that's the history uh, of it.